Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the client application which will actually call up the, the, the program we created for our server activated object. Okay, so let's go for a basic Windows program. And let's call it just the default name. Again, to save time, what we'll do is we'll just copy and paste. Okay, so in this case, it will create a form. And we'll just add a button to it. Okay, so it's a very simple program. Basically, when the 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 program starts up it will create a a connection with the with the server activated object program we register the channel and then we'll connect in this case to the local IP address on port 1234 and call up the show capital object we will then uh, we will then get the result from that, that object. So in this case what we'll do is that uh, we'll invoke it and start it up and then this here gives us uh, the call to it using the show method. Okay, so we need to add our references in to the DLL This defines what the, the class format is. So we can see now that we can actually see the, the definition of it. And we'll make sure that we have remoting added. We just need to add two more, two more text boxes. Text box one is the country we're going to ask for, and text box two, and then that will give us the reply. Okay, just check that we're all set up there. That's fine. Okay, so, so that's our program set up. We initiate the object remotely on the server and then when we click the button we should be able to get the country from the text box. It will call up our remote object, pass the country and then get the capital city back and everything should be okay. So the, the thing that we need to do is that we need to make sure that the server starts up.
först. Okay, so what we need to do is to get is to get this one to start first, followed by this one. Okay, so this will start up the server program on our machine. Normally this would run remotely and then it will start up the Windows program. Okay, so we can see here there's the server program starting. So we'll just unblock because we trust this program. So just let's find one of the capital cities that's in our object and we'll go for England and there we go. So that returns back the capital of the country. So if we try Scotland, <coughs> it returns back Edinburgh. So we can see here what we've what we've actually done is to create our remotable object. Okay, so we created our, our DLL. This is our remote object. We created a server act activation object program, which listened on port one two three four, and then we created a client to be able to connect to it. A proxy is created on the client to be able to determine the connection details required for the uh, service to, to run. Okay, so if we look back, there was our program, very simple object called uh, Show Capital, and then the Marshall By object allows us to return back an actual object, a reference to it. The method with inside that is show and we see that we we pass the value England and return back London for us. This shows us the actual server program which activates the object and keeps it running and is waiting for a connection and then we connect to do it with a very simple Windows program. Okay, so this shows how we create a dot net remoting component.